Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop. It's a shop. Yep, I'm calling it a shop. With my wonderful wife, Michelle Bodina, who's not behind the camera today. Liam's holding the camera, not my wife. Um, so today, I'm going to be showing Eugene and his son Xavier, who is going to be playing these instruments, well, one of these instruments anyway, um, a couple of Rigetti Master Series violins. I'll show you them next to each other. So, on my left, that's your right, we have Rigetti Master Series 6.0 violin. And let's see what it looks like from behind. Oh, it's very beautiful. And the one to your right is a Rigetti Master Series 6.2 violin. And there is the back. Oh, I can hear a customer coming in to buy them. Excellent. Well, hopefully Eugene will get to them first. So, um, the Rigetti Master Series are made in the workshop of Peter Guan. And I remember the first time that we had Rigetti Master Series about 19 years ago when they first came in. And I was so blown away at the skill of the workmanship for that price range that I called friends of mine who were violin teachers and the four of them that were, that came into the shop, the four um, instruments that came in to be demonstrated to us, those couple of violin teachers who came in bought all of them for their students just because they were so ridiculously good. It was sort of like a time of change in violin making a little bit in this sort of range of violin making. Yeah, incredible workmanship. And so anyway, Xavier's... Uh, uh, Eugene's son, Xavier, is going to be looking to upgrade to a half-size violin. And these happen to be really good in half-size. They tend to be slightly wider this way than some violins. The size of the violin is um, to do with the length from here to here. But the width doesn't necessarily um, affect your playing size. You could have a massively wide violin right out here and it's still not gonna feel any different as long as it's not heavier. And these are nice and light and they're a good size, and I'm gonna give them a play, and we're gonna see how different the Rigetti Master Series 6.0 and 6.2 really are. The 6.2 in this case happens to have a one, put, one piece back, which is cute, but it's not the be all and end all. Let's see how they sound. That's what I expect from a Rigetti Master Series. There's some brands that are made that are quite relaxed and mellow. Rigetti Master Series are sort of like soloist, serious sounding instruments, and this is no exception. It's bright and strong. And I've actually, because like I, I make all the parts for all the instruments, because I'm obsessive. I've seen a doctor about it, it's fine. But um, I make all the parts for them and then choose the strings. On both of these, I've decided to put Eva Parazzi strings. And we used to, in the shop, sometimes call them evil piranha strings because they're so bitey and strong. So it's sounding bright, strong, and nice and ringing. I'll see how the Rigetti Master Series 6.2 sounds. Being 6.2, it's a little bit more fancy and expensive than the 6.0. Also big, bright, strong, impressive sounding violin. Um, the difference I would say, I could hear a little bit more depth down the bottom and I could hear a little bit more ring as I was playing the different notes, the, the older notes sort of like sustaining as I'm playing through. Now what I'll do is I'll play each of them one after another without talking and talking and talking and talking in between each one. And you can tell Eugene and Xavier which one that they should get down below in the comments. Six point 
to you now. Hmm. Both beautiful. I think, as usual, they should probably buy both. But please advise them down below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.